gotta love this dude. Somebody's about to get beat up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 190 pounds. If you're looking for style points, if you're looking for finesse, you're in the wrong place. If you want to see somebody get beat up and punched in the mouth, sit down and enjoy the show. Tony Logan never seems to be in a pleasant mood. You probably heard your commentary. show here tonight. Oh. I wonder if we'll see any underhanded tactics from Bobby Fish here tonight. Saxton, you're confusing underhanded tactics with Bobby Fish's... Oh, no. I'm afraid so, Cole. This is going to be great. He's lining him up. Position. Oh, I think this man means business. Victory is on the horizon. You get dropped like that, you don't get up. Period. He goes for the cover. One, two. No, he kicks out at two. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, man! He's on the defensive here. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Five. Right to the face. Six. Back in from the floor.
once again we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. And Odie Lorkin slips out of harm's way. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, he's oh. sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> Can he finish the job? It'll be hard for Odie Lorkin to come back now. Digging deep for a kick out. Uh-uh. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Look at this. Unleashing it for the second time now. Boom, what an elbow. A pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. face as the stretch gets deeper. Oni Lorcan is showing signs that it could be ending soon. I don't recall the last time he looked so fatigued. Yeah, he's in bad shape right now, but come on, it's nothing we haven't seen him overcome in the past. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they gotta take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match, not only... Oh, well, look, Bobby Fish is in position. Uh-oh. Just as surprised as you guys are. Bobby Fish may have just ended this one. Two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win! Here is your winner, Bobby Fish. Now We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. You have to think this isn't going to end well. Yeah, you never see anybody in a position just gently put back down the mat. Oh boy, he is rolling. Bringing it back into the ring. He's almost got him. There it is, Fish just put the exclamation point on this match. Yeah, game, set, match, this one is over. And all that assault on the back. That has got to be it.
And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Lazala so quick, so dangerous. That doesn't even look remotely comfortable. Oh, there's the old stop power uh, leg snap. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Watch out! Bloody bulldog. Drop kick. Normally, we hear plenty of debate surrounding the weekly power rankings, but this week it seems both fans and superstars alike agree with how everything shook out. Gargano strike hits the mark. exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Yeah, not too much debate over the rankings this week, though. I will say that some people from the Superstars camp think it could have been just a little more favorable. You can't please everybody, Saxton. These are the same people who would win the lottery and then complain about having to pay taxes. Come on. As I was in the locker room and the latest rankings were released, and I can tell you that a lot of people were shaking their heads over this superstar's ranking. Oh boy, he is rolling. Super kick! I'm not sure how much he has left. Will Tazawa looking for all the glory here. And he kicks out. It's not Tazawa's time to realize the agony of defeat just yet. I don't know why anybody would be shaking their head over the Superstars ranking, Corey. It's been one impressive performance after another, if you ask me. It's well-deserved. I completely agree, Michael. And I wouldn't get too much stock in what Corey was saying anyway. He tends to hang with a pretty cynical crowd these days. Think about using the finisher here. Pretty Akira Tozawa, big move coming. That slam put him in a bad way, guys. But he's got to capitalize oh, now. No. That'll readjust your spine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. to put this away. Well, of course he does. Good point. Wow, talk about making a statement. Yeah, that's how you make a name for yourself, Michael. Gargano's looking to end it. Cross base applied. This one's over, guys. Yeah, that's one of those moves that you'll feel for quite a while. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet, a la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drop. He was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. Gargano setting him up. Oh, one dart to the turnbuckle. This one is over. Will Tazawa be able to continue? 
If he sticks this, he is done. Ooh, face first. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Moves like that have a way of reverberating throughout the There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. to win to start off tonight. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the car unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. You wouldn't find two more polar opposite competitors than Kyrie Sane and Shayna Baszler, but these two women found themselves on opposite sides of the ring as May Young Classic finalists. That's an understatement, Michael. Sane trained in yachting in Japan, while Baszler grew up in the Midwest and trained in Muay Thai and MMA. That clash of styles led to an amazing final match at the May Young Classic, which Kyrie Sane won. Byron and I discussed Kyrie Sane and Shayna Baszler's face-off during the May Young Classic, but it wasn't the end of their rivalry. When Baszler debuted in NXT, she immediately targeted and attacked Sane. Led to a match where Baszler beat Sane by making the Pirate Princess pass out. Things are far from over between these two wildly different NXT standouts. She's taking on some offense here. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're oh, thinking, man. and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. She's really had a tough time getting out of the gates here tonight. She needs to make a change, and she needs to make it now. Bravo to the voters this past week. It seems they finally got the rankings right. And I know this superstar agrees with me. It's about time. And 
She's taken down face first. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Well, while Corey loves the power rankings voting process, I will say that there are more than a few people who think a few mistakes were made this past week, particularly as it relates to the superstars' rankings. Mike, I'm not at all surprised to hear that Corey has a different opinion than pretty much the rest of the world. It's like he's not happy unless he's pushing somebody's buttons. Every superstar knows that the key to being a perennial main eventer is securing a favorable spot in the weekly rankings, just like this superstar did this past week. She's starting to stagger a bit. This is not how she drew this one up. Corey's absolutely right. The weekly rankings are so very important to achieving long-term success here in the WWE. But what everybody has to realize is getting that favorite. Shayna Baszler making her move. Shayna Baszler, this might be it. She is just so dominant. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Can take much more of this. Now she's as good as done. She's walking the plank, so to speak. Ha. She's definitely starting to feel the pressure here, guys. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's gonna be over. If she gets in attack mode. Look out. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week, if that's even possible. And here we go from the German suplex release. Keep your eye on this one. The weekly rankings are up, God. Shayna Baszler making her move. Unleashes the sleeper trying to put this match to bed. That should do it. Jeez, my neck hurts after that. I want to take a moment to thank all of you. Ah, right, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. A favorable ranking for sure for this superstar, as Byron was saying, but that shouldn't... Looks like she wants the win early. She is on fire. I thought that was it. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. And here we go now. Elbow in the heart. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Kyrie Sane, big move coming. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. And she's driven to the mat hard. Shayna Baszler making her move. Shayna Baszler, this might be it. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. All that's left now for Shayna Baszler is to finish this. Nope, she releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. And look at the quickness by Sane. Some good technique right there. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Come oh, on, she gets out of the way. She goes for the cover. One. Digging deep for a kick out. And we continue. Targeting the back now. 
She goes for the cover. She kicks out of that one. She's still in this one. Her knee finds the mark. Oh, this is dangerous right here. I see where she's going with this. She's not too anxious to get up. Look out! Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Shayna Baszler making her move. Baszler, this might be it. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. I don't know. Sane can recover. Probably not. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she she's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. And she slams her back. It could be over here. This is it. Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. And it's reversed. Uh, going to the top, high risk. Kyrie Sane, big move coming. Oh man, she's rolling now. And look at the quickness by Sane. She's in control now following that slam. She releases the hold. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but she goes for the cover. One, two, three. Shayna Baszler gets the win. Here is your winner, Shayna Baszler. Big win here to start. If that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Look at her go. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Check this out. She found something, and she's sticking with it. Here she goes again. And she's toying with her now. This could be the one that ends her. Warm up the bus. This one is over. The first one was vicious, but somehow this one was even more devastating.
This is it. Tag team action underway here, guys. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. He's not looking like himself here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. You never want to count a competitor out, but things oh. don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. It's always nice when you see a superstar who's clearly been putting the work in get recognized with an impressive spot in the weekly rankings as this competitor did this past week. certainly were impressive. I can only imagine the heights this superstar can climb to. Come on, they're only numbers, guys. Don't get too caught up in them. What really counts is what happens after the opening bell. He's taking some offense, but we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself? Or does he attempt to make a tag here? This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Believe it or not, guys, this superstar wasn't overly pleased with this past week's rankings. And you know what? I tend to agree. Who's voting on this stuff anyway? Well, while I disagree with Corey's assessment of this week's rankings, I do support his right to an opinion. And you, too, can voice your opinion on this week's rankings by using hashtag WWE Power Rankings on social media. And I'm seeing a lot of varying opinions, which is great. Though, interestingly enough, I don't see any that agree with what Corey was saying. Go figure. He's stumbling some now. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. Here sure we go. That. Yeah, he's got a lot left in him. That's all right, Cole. Guys, some are saying this superstar has begun showing a bit of arrogance since the latest weekly rankings were released. But the way I see it, that's just confidence. Comes in off the tag. Dodges a bullet there. Receive it. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. There certainly is a fine line between arrogance and confidence, as Byron was saying, but whatever it is, I have no problem. The superstar has been on an absolute roll as of late. Man, who really cares if somebody's being arrogant? As the old saying goes, if you got it, flaunt it. And this superstar certainly has. He caught him slipping. Oh, oh, oh. This could mean trouble. On the flip side of what Byron was saying earlier, we've seen superstars relax a bit after being slotted high in the rankings. And that, of course, is the last thing you want to do in a situation like this. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that with this superstar, Cole. Some competitors are known for believing their own height, but that's definitely not the case here. Into tonight with a pretty impressive ranking, guys, and well deserved, too, if you ask me. Just punishing the chest. An impressive ranking for the superstar, indeed. Angelo Dawkins, he's inflicting some serious pain here. He's in complete control now. There's a pin now. 
pinfall attempt. Roddy won't allow this match to end. He's too determined. Oh, boy, he is rolling. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Tagged in. His kick connects. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's gonna be over. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. But that's even possible. I must say, fellas, I was absolutely shocked. Cover here. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. As we've seen many times over the years, the weekly rankings can be a source of great debate. And Byron, it seems Corey has taken issue with this week's rankings. Do you have any issue with how this week's numbers played out? Not at all, Michael. In fact, I applaud the voters for getting, in my opinion, everything right from top to bottom. Incoming. And look at the quickness by Montez Ford. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, he's setting it up. Uh oh, and Riley makes him pay in the worst way. What a shot. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Does Montez Ford even know where he is? Shockwave sent down the spine. You've got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Oh, elbow clock. And he could be done very soon. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. He is hurt. This has been one of the most intense back and forth battles I've seen in a long time. And unfortunately for him, it's not looking so great right now. And we're back to this form of attack.
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. And the odds just make it. it. Wow, what a match. Here are your winners, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong. The Undisputed Era. Kicking off tonight with an impressive victory. What we just saw there was a doctorate class in tag team competition. They just took the game to a whole other level. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, oh, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. You see more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty oh, of wow. fight left in him. Double axe handle. Uh-oh, look at this. And there are no disqualifications in this one, guys. Changes the entire complexion of this match. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher. He's got some fight left in him. Not yet. Too early. Looks like he's starting to falter. It appears his opponent has his number right now. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, he breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. So precise with the super kick. Incredible. Only a two count. He's not giving up that easy. Seems to be, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. He's looking at it. Death Valley bomb. There's the cover. Can he do it? Well, that was a close call. Can you believe this?
The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet, a la Randy Savage versus The Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. Here we go, back inside the ring. Take down to the mat. Roll bridging. Fujiwara armbar. Gotta hurt. The arm might snap here. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Thomas O. Champ. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion and you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back wondering how in the world they're going to follow that believe it or not that's just the beginning folks stay tuned for more great action